Good morning. If nothing changes, nothing changes. That is the story of today, just like my, my tan lines. If I keep wearing a t-shirt, I'm always going to have my tan lines. Anyway, <laughs> talking today about the mentality that we often go into a new diet with. So we often go into a new diet hoping that it'll be different this time. When often we try something new, but we have the same mindset. And if you have the same mindset, when you reach the similar obstacles that come up, you're going to get stuck again. Hey, Teresa, give me a hello if you're coming in. So I thought today we'd rather talk, rather than talk tactics, we're going to talk actually about the mindset around when we approach this diet or whatever we're doing. Now, number one, before we go into this, hey, Karen, um, is that if you are going into something that's that's quite, I'm going to use the word hard, as in quite hard and fast, maybe a bit more of a kind of crash diet, whatever you want to call it. And there's pros and cons to them, by the way. I'm not even saying that they're, they're bad, because there's a lot of science behind some of it. It's just the coaching element might be lacking. Hey, Pauline, um, if you're going into something like that, though, where you're like putting pressure on yourself to lose you know, six pounds a week or you failed, just know that you've, you've actually got to be in quite the right mindset to actually even start that. And I don't even recommend it for a lot of people because if you're not in the right headspace of that, you'll just become more frustrated with it. Hey, Michelle. So that's the first thing. And, and the second thing is to just to consider what slow weight loss actually means. <laughs> it's something that we just often don't ask because sometimes I'm speaking to someone and they say, I've hit a weight loss plateau, it's a bit slow. And then we speak. And actually, we're having this big conversation about tactics and different strategies that you can do with your nutrition, your diet. But then actually, when we work it out, they're actually, on average, losing a pound a week. They're finding it quite doable, given the stress in their life at the moment, whether it's work, home life, family life. That's actually really good. And when I put it like this, OK, that's, you know, four odd stone in a year if they carry on the way they are. It's actually like, oh, you know what? That's not too bad, actually, after all. So we sometimes looking to change stuff to speed things up, forgetting that if we change something, we might actually then find it harder than our lifestyle, perhaps, and our energy levels are willing to give. And it's about fine tuning that. Because wouldn't you rather stick to something long term, stop going on and off it, getting frustrated with it, finding it to adapt to the strategies and the obstacles that actually come out naturally. So, you know, there's going to be social events, etc. How can you approach these when you come to them and be planned for them rather than going, I'm going to do it until then, then, then I'll do something else. So then let's move on to a few questions that, you, that, can, that can kind of help with us. So to get even better results than you are now. So number one would be just to commit to this. If you would, if something happens today where you would normally go, I'll oh, sod it, I'll just start again next week when things calm down. I just want you to do this. Just commit to doing one more day on whatever, whatever you're doing. Just, just make the decision that now, when things don't go to plan, you say, okay, I'm going to do one more day. And then decide if you want to start again next week. Let me know if you're going to do that. So you just say, instead, when that trigger happens, when it says, you know, I failed, or didn't go to plan, you just say, I'm, well, I'm going to do one more day. Then I'll decide if I want to start till Monday. Number two, consider this question. Focus less. Focus less on how you don't want to feel, more on how you want to feel. We see it a lot, you know, I'm too, I'm so tired, why am I so tired? I'm so stressed, and, and this is true, you know, you're embracing how you feel, which is fine. But we're so focused on how we don't want to feel, we don't come up with a solution. Hey, Belinda, so flip it. Number one, how do you actually want to feel? Because most of us, of course, you're gonna be frustrated if you don't know how you want to feel. So number one, how do you want to feel? Number two, what are you willing to do to create that feeling? Number one, how do you want to feel? Number two, what are you willing to do to create that feeling? And it's a bit like, you know, I was asked, I've been asked lots of questions about our personal trainer um, course that we've been doing. So we've just launched our education center. Um, our next personal trainer course is in September, by the way. And, and this is for people who want to be personal trainers, uh, but also people who just want to learn more about health, fitness, human body. And I've been asked lots of questions about this. And when we, when we I chat with people about this and I speak about you know, why they want to do it, it actually ends up going into the way someone feels, whether that's they've got to a stage in their life where they want to just learn more or got to a stage in their life where they want to embark on a different career, whatever it is. And it, it's always about changing the way you feel. By the way, if you do want more information on that course, do comment below um, and I can send over the prospectus for you. Anyway, going back to where we are, those key things today, action points for you are number one, 
if something happens today where you'd normally give up and just try again on Monday, just say, right, I commit to one more day, then I can start, give myself permission to start again next week. Number two, focus on how you want to feel rather than how you don't want to feel. Number one, how do I want to feel? Number two, what am I willing to do to create that feeling? Hope that helps and I'll see you soon. Take care. Enjoy the sun.